Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy here on the Game Professor channel. I'm your host, the Game Professor. <coughs> Just verify my microphone level there. And last time we did a little bit of work in uh, the or uh, work uh, in terms of searching around the castle while we were trying to wait for Sebastian to get back to us about his current search for the uh, scriptorium, Southern Scriptorium. And while we were doing uh, that random searching around Hogwarts and also going to Hogsmeade to get some stuff for the Room of Requirement, he finally got back to us, so let's check in with him and see what is happening. You're here. Brilliant. All right. What do you have to say for yourself, Sebastian? I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. <coughs> Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. All right. Sounds like he's a plan. So, in the shadow of the study. And basically every Sebastian related quest Never is in the watching. shadow of something. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Yes, he is. And yet, we, we do love him. In some ways. All right. Now, I have to remember. I'm pretty there sure. He is. Good luck. There's ominous, but I'm pretty sure this is. Rebellion. The bathroom that we will know from Chamber of Secrets. Slytherin's sink. Scratched into one of the copper taps is the seemingly ordinary sink in the girls' toilets is a small snake. No one knows what it means. And if you get into the, um... Some of the weird lore that Rowling put into it, um into the wizarding world it wasn't until i believe the 1700s that they added uh plumbing so that means of hiding the chamber was actually something that was put into effect uh by other slytherin descendants so voldemort was not the only slytherin descendant to find the Chamber of Secrets in history. So, even what are you doing here? where he's trying to be special, he still is not as special as he thinks he is. But let's chat with Ominous now. Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. Hmm. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... <clears throat> what was it? A scriptorium. He told you about that? He did. We were talking about our house founder and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only oh. know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. 
didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Hmm. Yeah, I do understand your caution. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. All right. <clears throat> I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Oh. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. <laughs> it's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, Ominous. <laughs> All right. Well, we have three braziers here, so let's light them on fire. <laughs> Happening. I hope we're ready for this. I remember when I was first playing this game, I saw these steps and I was like, there has to be a way in. Why Dark can't I figure out a way corridors. in? My favorite. No comment. Lumos. Come on, that was a good one. It was like fairly good. Door. We may want to look around. Hmm. Revelio. All right, so obviously something for us there. And... Interesting, I do hear a ding. Which I'm guessing is that over there? Well, let's take a look at this note. Knock to a gaunt note one of five. I must prove my point. We do not need to use the dark arts as my family instructs. When I reach the scriptorium, I will find evidence that there's more to Salazar Slytherin than we realize. I have written to my brother. He, know, he now knows how I access the corridor's entrance and that there's no straight path to reach the scriptorium. It's a maze with many challenges to solve. I hope that my brother will follow my lead and we can study our ancestors' legacy together. Noctua Gaunt. A journal entry, signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. Hmm. You knew? And didn't tell me? Ominous. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could hmm. be dangerous. Aunt Noctua kept my father informed until she vanished. Alright. Well... <clears throat> We do need to repair this, it would seem. Repair her. Oh, that was annoying. There we Maybe go. Maybe something to this pile of rubble. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. Hmm. All right. What is this voice you the hear, voice Ominous? Is ancient, sinister. Mm. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. Mm. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I wish all Slytherins could talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, mm. but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. 
Honestly, yeah, second and third thoughts, but don't think there's really any turning back now. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. <coughs> when I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... never mind. Yeah, let's uh, keep that There's all... There's no clear way forward. ...to a like minimum a there. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each mm. gate for clues. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so that one lit for us. So, we have a snake and a pair of moons, it looks like. So let's see if this guy works here. The dial requires focus. Uh, not to have said the same. It may take practice to solve it. There we go. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. Lumos! <laughs> nice work. It's actually quite simple puzzle solving. The timer does make it a little nerve wracking, for sure. Alright, so we don't know where this one goes, so we'll just continue on for now. Ooh. All the hissing. Man, this is uh, one of those quests that <clears throat> the difference of doing it with a headset versus not with a headset is something. All right, let's see here. Got some more money. All right. Got another knock to a gaunt note. Salazar Slytherin buried the scriptorium deep within Hogwarts. I'm afraid I shall lose my way around these dark corridors. I am a descendant, and yet I feel unwelcome. Lighting these braziers in the corridors is helping. Or in the corridor is helping. I shan't lose heart. Challenge by challenge, I'll make my way through. Knock to a gun. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, I'm going to hazard a guess that this one goes to that one over there. So, the square thingy on the bottom and something bull-ish. So, another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. The there we go. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. <laughs> that sounded promising. It is Another indeed. dial solved. Impressive. Lumos. Nice work. Like I said, actually relatively simple in terms of puzzling, but not super easy at the same time. That was the second one. There's. Oh, whoops! I missed one back there. Okay, Lumos. that's what that was. Um. Well, I know for sure that there's going to be one over there. Okay, so that looks like triangles and fish. So let's do this. Or triangles and something fish-like. Ah, there's our other note. I failed the dial and it struck my face as if it were a real serpent, but I must find a way forward for my family's sake. 
We should not require children to confront to conform to old traditions. The scriptorium must have proof that there's more to our legacy than meets the eye. Noctua Gaunt. Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. Mm -hmm. She did, and she was my favorite person in the world for it. Man. All right, Another, so let's see here. Not the welcoming sort, was he? That one there, and then... Nope. The dial seems to be getting Oof. more difficult, but we've made it this far. Don't give that up. That was smooth. <laughs> that was very smooth of me. I know that my health will eventually come back. At least I think it will. It's currently not regenerating. Hmm. Alright, so... That was the fish. This is the triangle. There we go. <laughs> Man. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Yep, we are. Still Lumos. quite nerve-wracking down here, in my opinion. And I think we'll probably get through this whole quest this episode. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Yep. All right. Revelio. Let's just do a quick search here. All right. Lumos. We've got more to solve ahead. Search yes, we each do. Corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Mm, actually, fairly easy maze to follow. Extraordinary. This journey is painful but rewarding. I shall soon find the scriptorium and discover untold secrets regarding our house founder, Salazar Slytherin. <coughs> oh, whoops. Salazar Slytherin intended more than what we've become. I know it. Noctua Gaunt. Noctua references painful and arduous challenges, but also mm. rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Sebastian, Lumos. stop being stupid. And then here, this is the beginning of the Unforgivable Curse quest line. So, that's what we're going to be dealing with now. Oof. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again! Yep. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. No, I don't think he is. And there we are. Crucio. I've lost hope. I'm locked in. I heard a scream and saw the tortured faces. The only way forward is with an unforgivable curse. <clears throat> Even if I wanted to cast it, I have no one upon whom to do so. Salazar Slytherin created a malicious, a malicious challenge indeed. In my last correspondence to my brother, I'd invited him here. Now if he looks for me alone, I'll have led him to his death. Despite our differences, I wish him no ill. I wish we had parted on better terms. Knock to a gaunt. Ominous. A skeleton. Hmm. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going oh, to be difficult. Of course you know what to do, Sebastian. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. Mm -hmm. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you uh. ask me about this? Uh, yeah, I'll ask him. He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Man. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. No, no liquid luck. 
<laughs> Unfortunately. Um, all right, Ominous. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. Mm. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture. I would know. How would you know? I was taught the Cruciatus Curse as a child. My family's tradition involved torturing muggles. When I refused, I tasted the agony of the curse myself. Eventually, I did what my family asked. Mm. When you witness suffering like that at your own hands, you never forget it. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian mm. will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Mm hmm And here we're really starting to get uh, more of the sense of what a cautionary tale Sebastian is. At least it's going to become very clear right now. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not learning the Cruciatus Curse. No unforgivables for me this playthrough. Or ever. I don't, I, I yeah, I've done, this is my third <laughs> playthrough that I'm doing, and I have not learned any of the unforgivable curses once. And I don't see the need to. I don't want to learn the curse, but I can handle the pain. It's fine. Cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Mm. Ready? I'm ready. We are. Are you all uh. right? That pain, it was excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. I can't believe we're here. Wow. That face, it's just like the face in the, um, in the Chamber of Secrets and the detail of the stone snakes moving like that oof I don't think I ever noticed that detail wow Rebellion. Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium a secret and well protected room beneath Hogwarts where Salazar Slytherin appears to have spent time making various long term plans with respect to the student population and reflecting on disagreements he had with the other founders so I'm not going to grab the book yet Just because that, I'm pretty sure, ends this pretty much. We have another chest here. But we have a letter or a note. I fear we shall never come to an accord. I cannot persuade even one of them to listen to reason. 
I had dared hope that Godric's thoughts were aligned with my own, that he understood why the caliber of student needed to be exceptional. But he has fallen prey to the ridiculous notion that Muggleborns are somehow as capable as purebloods. He was furious when I expressed my displeasure at his thoughts on the matter, thoughts he had not yet put voice to. I tire of the discord and can no longer bear witness to the corridors full of adept children masquerading as witches and wizards. It is with a heavy heart that I now know I must go from here. I shall place the creature into a deep sleep in its chamber until it can be awakened by one who shares my views, a descendant willing to reverse the damage that the others have so carelessly wrought, one who shall rid the school of those unworthy of Hogwarts that would serve only to stain my legacy. That, of course, is a reference to the Basilisk in Revenge. the Chamber of Secrets. All right. Looks like it's just the book left. So let's go grab it. Whew. Sebastian. Ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose... <clears throat> what do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will mm. you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Oh, boy. It is quite the tension that we have here. I see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. Now we'll see spatially where we end up. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. Mm. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Oof. Yeah. That. It's heavy. It is a special type of heavy, to be frank. Who? But yeah, we can just go into the scriptorium now if we want. I'm not going to. Hey, Sebastian. Again. Um, we have a little chest there, though. But we still have a couple of minutes here. I could try to do something. Let's take a look at our quests. Um... Oh, yes, the lost child. Um, man. Still have a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I'm going to get us going to the lost child. And then we can, uh, or, hmm. This is the difficulty. Do I want... to, uh... see about going to the next... 
Um, story quest. Now, before we help Natty with that, just see here. Uh, Revelio pages, that's what this is. Okay. So you can see we've actually, we're doing pretty well on those. Um, what is our inventory looking like? Okay. Do do do. Hello. These are all of the. Noctua. Huh. I know I got the fifth one. That's weird that it didn't put it in my inventory. Well, like I said, let's uh, keep ourselves going. That is weird that it's saying that it's only that far. That feels very close. But we can just start flying, which is great. Just for ease. Just to work on down to Lower Hogsfield. Nothing too crazy here. And we'll just get this started. And we'll take care of this quest next time. You are here. Good. Yes, I am, Natty. What's going on? Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. All right. So, we will speak to Mrs. Bickle. What will I do? Hmm. Well, that doesn't sound good. Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. Mm. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Mm. Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I'm sure he's fine. He must be around here somewhere. When did you last see him? Archie was home with his father while I was out. His satchel's missing. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I huh. hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When huh. my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? Um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, mm -hmm. I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Um, what can you tell me about Harlow? Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Uh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. Mm. And why did he kill your husband? What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. Hmm. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... Hmm. <laughs> we'll find your son. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Archie home. 
All right. So with that, everybody, that's where I'm going to finish off this episode. And next time we will take care of <laughs> Why the lost did child. Why challenge that horrible man? It's okay, Mrs. Bickle. We'll take care of it. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out. And follow the links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server so you can join the conversation. You, but until next time, everybody, this is your Game Professor signing off. I will see you then.